This week we are staying at our very first Jellystone RV resort. Yeah. We had never planned on ever staying at one of these. <laughs> no. And the reason why is because they are A, expensive. Yes. And B, full of children. <laughs> yes. <laughs> No offense if you have children, no. but we don't, don't like Don't send any hate mail. <laughs> we just don't like camping next to children. Yeah, but we figured since we are staying at this one, we're staying at this one because we are members of RPI, and this just happens to be an RPI property yeah. also. RPI is an add-on of 1,000 trails. Mm -hmm. uh, we just did a video on our first RPI stay. If you want to watch that, we'll put a link up here so that you can see that. Um, so we weren't going to do any more uh, reviews of RV properties, but now we're staying at Jellystone, so that's unique. It's different. So we figured we'd talk about it. Um, like we said, it's very expensive. Mm -hmm. uh, for this particular Jellystone, which is in Robert, Louisiana, which is about an hour north of New Orleans, yeah, at uh, three hundred and ninety dollars for the week. Steep. Whoa, <laughs> that's a lot. That's that the reason why we never stayed at one of these. Yeah. But with RPI, mm -hmm. seventy-three dollars for the week. Way more doable. Can't beat that with a stick. <laughs> so, um, it is also a Passport America. Yes. So, if you have Passport America, you can stay here also. Not as cheap as RPI. Uh, it's about $245 for the, for the week. week. Uh, or, depending on the season, between $22.50 and $35 and per night. But, there is a two-night minimum here. Mm -hmm. You have to stay at least two nights. You can't just book an overnight at a Jellystone. Yeah. Um, so that's that's one of the downers too. Uh, it is a a huge resort. Yes. And they have a bunch of big. amenities. We're going to show you some of those. There are three little areas like this. Well, as far as we could see, anyway, three yeah. little areas like this where they have the little cabins or chalets or whatever you want to call them, mm -hmm. surrounded in a little circle. This is the smallest one, and each one of them have like a little pool in the middle. Um, this one would be kind of good if you had a group of like seven or eight. Yeah, families or couples rent them all yeah you can rent this whole little circle have and have your place. own little thing right yeah, here it'd be pretty cool. cool your own little pool there's extra parking over here mm -hmm. and then behind here uh even if you had some friends who wanted a tent camp right behind this fence over here there's some tent camping areas yeah. and some primitive camping it does have you know like the 110 power and a water spigot um if you need water or power yeah um but very cool little area and we'll show you the the other ones too the other ones are a little bit bigger there's mm -hmm. one across the one and there's one way on the other side of the park yeah, quite a few. I was shocked by the size of this. Yeah, we, we can't get inside to look at them, but we'll yeah. see if we can look through some of the windows. Mm -hmm. This is one of the other small cabin chalet areas. Yeah. It's actually the biggest one in the whole park. Uh -huh. And it's the one that's the furthest in the back. Yeah, it's So isolated. it's the most secluded. So privacy, if that's what you want, this is the area. Yeah. Lots of, of chalets or cabins. Mm -hmm. So even if there were you know, three or four different families out here, they could stagger you out to where you'd You're be way far. Of each yeah, other. and you still have this this big pool yeah. that's your own, your own fire pits, your own mm -hmm. barbecue grills, your own parking spaces down here. So if you're a cabin camper, <laughs> this would be the place to do it. I'm it, not sure if uh, if all Jellystones do this. I'm sure they do in I some bet, form I'm or sure fashion. They have cabins, yeah. If you've stayed at other Jellystones, leave us a comment. Let us know yeah. um, if they have other amenities like this. But I would assume that. This is kind of the theme of Jellystone. Yeah. To have all kinds of different camping. So Accommodate you, to yeah. all different kinds. RVs, cabins, tents. Tents. Power, no power. <laughs> yeah. And a lot of the, a lot of the, uh, even the RV spaces, some of them are only 30 amp, some are 50 amp, mm -hmm. uh, some are primitive. Uh, yep. So all different kind of options at Jellystone. Yeah. So that's one of the, one of the pros. Yeah. There are a lot of tiny humans. Uh huh here at Jellystone. Mm -hmm. But if you want to escape the little tiny humans, <laughs> there's a place to do that. This is the adult member clubhouse yeah. only. 18 years and older. Gotta have the wristband. Gotta have the wristband. So you can't even, not even supervised. There's no kids. Yeah. This is the, this is the adult club. It's kid free zone. <laughs> the adult club. No, there is a, there's a little place to hang out in there. We'll show you that. Has its own pool, which is adult only also. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if all Jellystones have this, but this is a great idea, especially over the weekends. 
yeah, you should have a place for adults to get away from the yeah. kids because everything here is kid friendly. Everything uh, so. on the main area is, I mean, the pool is full of kids. <laughs> All the, the, the areas Activities, are, stuff. everything's yeah. full of kids. <laughs> so it's cool, especially for us, we don't have kids. We really yeah. don't want to hang around a bunch of kids. Yeah. Not that we don't like kids, but yeah. we just, we did our time. We don't want the yelling, <laughs> screaming, running yeah splashing so for us and actually we hung out in here for a little while yesterday we did. <laughs> and played some pool uh, we'll show you what's going on in the adult only area <laughs> oh <laughs> and they got the foosball they got the pool tables cool area to hang out right here out this door is where the pool is that's the adult only pool and then over here you have some uh, facilities and if you want to hang out, cool area to hang out, if you want to play cards, poker, board games, if you have a group of folks with you you want to hang out with and you stay away from the, the little tiny humans, this is the place to do it. Well there's no shortage of swimming pools at the Jellystone. No. Uh, there's one, two, three here plus a splash pad and then there is the adult only, that makes four. And then there's three areas of different campgrounds yeah. with chalets. And they so have that's their own pool. Seven total swimming pool. pools at this park. Yeah. That's, a lot of maintenance. That's a lot of <laughs> pool maintenance. But it's it's convenient. Yeah. Because then you're not all crowded in one area. Yeah. This is by far the biggest one. It has yeah. two pools. One's uh, the deepest it goes is six feet. Mm -hmm. And this one is a little bit bigger. And then the one over there is a little kiddie pool, which is just like a foot or two. Yeah. And, and then the splash, splash pad. pad. Yeah. And then so the, the other pools with the little chalet areas are just like little for those mostly personal areas. size, like you would find in a residence. Yeah. Or something like that. <laughs> now we are on the water. Getting exercise. On the paddle boat. <laughs> we got some fish food. You can buy fish yeah. food at the little ranger station for a quarter of a bag. And they give you a pretty decent amount yeah. of uh I guess it's cat food, pretty much. Probably. Um fish pellet. This is one of the many ponds that they have out here. They have like four or five ponds. Um, so it's hard to steer this thing. <laughs> I'll show you where we're going. Uh, they have a little island at this pond that you can go around. And um, nice day. Beautiful day. Tons of turtles out, so I can already tell. Yeah. We're going to eat all this food. The boats are a $20 deposit. You get that money back yeah. when you get done paddling. Yeah. They just want to make sure you're not going to steal their boat or tear it up or anything like that. So um, they have uh, these paddle boats that we're in. They also have kayaks and canoes. So you get your choice. The same price for anyone. It's not $20 a person. It's $20 per boat. So uh, and even those paddle boat, you could fit four you people on this. Two more yeah. Yeah. Of course, only two of you are going to do the paddling. Yeah. Everybody else just get to chill back That's there. more weight you gotta paddle. <laughs> yeah. There's some cup holders on here. You can bring your own stuff. You can fish out you here. Could, you but they canoe. only have uh, certain times and certain days that they do it. Yeah, you can't just do it whenever you want. Yeah, for here it's over, over the weekend. weekend. Um, longer hours on Saturday and shorter hours on Sunday. Uh, so we're out here on Sunday and only got about another hour or so before we have to, to bring it in. Yeah. Fishing here at the Jellystone is absolutely free. Now, if you have your own gear, if you don't have your own gear, they sell some gear in the ranger station. Yeah. And bait. Mm -hmm. We bought some worms. And we have our own fishing poles, so we bring everywhere. Yeah. But you don't need a license here. Nope. Uh, and you can catch and release or catch and keep. It's up to you. Um, there are big enough fish in here to catch and keep because when we were paddling, we did see we a did couple see of yeah. decent sized fish. But I think most are going to be the yeah. smaller little perch. Yeah. Uh, but at least still fun to catch. Yeah. All right, now that we've shown you a couple of the, the cool things that they mm -hmm. have to do here, um, some of the stuff we didn't actually vlog in front of, but we wanted to talk about and show it to you. Uh, we said it is a big park. It is. The, the, mm -hmm. the spaces between the RVs are pretty spacious. Yeah. You, you don't feel like you're on top of somebody. Yeah, and the back-end spaces are are big mm -hmm. and easy to back into. We didn't back into one. We went to we went in a pull-through, yeah. but the back-end spaces seemed like they would be Doable. Pretty easy to back doable. into. <laughs> doable for us, so they're <laughs> pretty good for everybody else. <laughs> yeah, and because the place is so big, they have laundry and bathhouses all, all over the over. place. There, yeah. uh, there is not a shortage. No matter where you are in the park, you can get to one pretty quickly. Yeah. 
and we didn't go into any of those, mm -hmm. but uh, they have so many that even if all the washers dryers are, are, are full at one, just go to the next one yeah. because there's so many of them. Yeah. Uh, so that's good. It's cool that they have um, they have a church here. Yeah, that was interesting. They have church service on Sunday. It has its own little little building. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't know if they were doing it because of the you know Corona, yeah. but they were. They did have. Uh, service we didn't go inside, way. but we heard them doing worship service. Yeah. You could hear them out, outside doing Music. that. Um, it has a lot of your regular normal resort type amenities like yeah. your yeah. horseshoes, your mini, mini golf. golf. Um, we talked about the chalets uh, and we talked about the boat and the paddle boat. We went all the yeah. boat, different options that, and the that pools. way and the, and the fishing that you mm -hmm. can do here. We already talked about that, but um, there's some cool, unique stuff that they have, but they'll put out a, a, a calendar, a calendar and yeah. a lot of their activities over the weekend. Yeah. Because that's when most of the people are here. It's their busiest time. Yeah, so they'll do stuff like hay rides and crafts, yeah. games. Um, you can rent golf carts <laughs> here. It's a big enough park. That there you, is a golf cart parade. Well, yeah, because we were here for St. Patty's Pat Day. Yeah. So they had like a, they, a contest. They were all decked out yeah. in their St. Patty's Day stuff. You rent the golf carts, but everything else is deposited. Yes. You get your Just, money back. Yeah. So, so it's free to use the, the putters and stuff for the putt putt. It's free to use the boats. Yeah. You put a deposit. They want to make sure they get their stuff back and you don't break it. But as long as you don't break the stuff, they give it right back. It's free, yeah. pretty much. Um, there is uh, a lot of wildlife out here. Tons. Geeses. Lots of geese. Ducks. Lots. Turtles. Fishes. I think fish, a fish just yeah, jumped Yeah, I just back heard there. a fish. Yeah. <laughs> um, baby ducks. No, the babies. <laughs> There were like what, there, fifteen of them. They she had, had to have been oh. not born very long ago. It's adorable. And they're just they're just following oh, mommy around. Yeah. And we saw some of the geese uh, when we were on the paddle boat. We didn't show it on the on the the portion of the video we oh, shot. Yeah, but some they're are nesting. they're nesting. Yeah. So they're probably gonna have some babies here coming and up soon too. And as we paddled by, they were like, "Whoa, yeah. back off!" Up. They were like, <laughs> so we're like, okay, "That one was yeah. like she stuck she her neck like, out, like don't even think about coming us over the whole way around the island." Yeah, it was it was crazy. So. So far, it's been pretty good. Yeah. Um, there have been some downfalls. Yeah. Um, we had a big storm come in here the second night we were here. Yeah. And, you know, if you've been to Louisiana, Louisiana doesn't sits, drain very well. It sits below the water line. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's muddy. Yeah. Our site, I think, is the muddiest in the in whole the park. In the whole park. Lucky us. Yeah. So we have uh, zero grass. Uh, yeah. We do have a pretty big site, but we can't use it yeah. because it's just all mud, a yeah. uh, big mud puddle. And it, it rained so much that actually our, our welcome mat was underwater. Um, it, now it's encased in mud. <laughs> yeah, both uh, sides of the truck, uh, we had to walk through water to get into the truck to be able to, to go anywhere. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we got swamped out not, yeah. a little bit. Um, one of the other downfalls is um, over the weekend, it was loud. It was. And you like try to mentally prepare for that. Like, you know, there's going to be kids running around and pee. But. Kids weren't the biggest problem. The kids are not the biggest problem. Well, at least not this past weekend. It was the asshole parents. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think you were going to say it. <laughs> no, the guy next to us um, pulled in and immediately set up a mm -hmm. bunch of kids. Had a bunch of friends over there yeah, doing the crawfish boil. Cool, got it. Party on, man. Mm -hmm. Rock it until quiet time. Yes. But at quiet time, I need you to simmer down. Shut her down. And I'm not talking about zero noise. I'm just talking about tolerable Tol noise. Yeah. But they were up, loud music blaring until 2, 2 a.m. Even even during the even during the day when it's not quiet hours, there were several people in the park blaring their music. Yeah. Blaring, and um, not there's just, really not a need for yeah. that. No, you know? the, the, you, people have lost a level of respect for each other. Yeah, they're very self-absorbed, self-centered, only care about their good time. Yeah, and not considering everybody else's good time, and having to listen to somebody else's music. Yeah, all day is not a good time to me. I would say that if you are uh, a family with kids. And you're just a weekender. Great place awesome to go. Awesome place because yeah. they have so You'll many have activities. You will have an awesome weekend. Um, if you are single couple or older couple and uh, full timer, uh, Jellystone might not be the place for you. 
on a weekend. During the week, it's fine. It's perfect. Sunday afternoon right now, and everybody's, everybody's gone. gone. It is. It is so peaceful here. Yeah, it's nice again. Yeah. <laughs> We went fishing. We went out on the boats. Yeah. So even even though there was a couple of crazy days, um, you know, five out of the seven days are going to be nice and quiet and peaceful, and inexpensive. They suck it up on the weekend. So um, so yeah, because it's an RPI, we we stayed here. Uh, we wouldn't have stayed here. So I, you know, I, if you do the math, it looks like we saved over three hundred dollars. We really didn't because if yeah, uh, we had not had RPI. We would not have stayed here. No, we would have stayed. Elsewhere. We would have stayed at a place that was about, you know, two hundred dollars a week two, or less. So, but we still saved a hundred, hundred twenty-five bucks, regardless. Yeah. But um, it's it's to me not worth almost four hundred dollars for the week. No, no, <laughs> <laughs> it's not. There's no place worth four hundred dollars a week in uh, camping. No. Anyway, let us know if you have ever stayed at a Jellystone, what your experience was like, if you liked it, loved it, hated it, whatever, uh, if you thought it was overpriced, or if you are RPI or Passport America, it was probably reasonably priced for you to stay at. Yeah. But leave us a comment let us know. And like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. Mm -hmm. If you want to see all the ways that you can help us help vets, all the information you need is in the description of this video below. We appreciate you watching. <laughs> that guy's banging still. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.